Hey friend, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Anique, and this is your homegirl horoscope for today. Um, before we get into your reading, intuitive downloads, right? Some of you guys could be very emotional at this time. Remember, there are a lot of retrogrades going on. The planets are doing it, right? This is why you need to learn your natal chart so you know what is going on with you, why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. Sometimes you don't even need to know your natal chart. Sometimes you have to just see, okay, this is what I'm going through. This is what I need to fix. This needs to change. I need to remove this person. I need to gain access to this. I need to obtain this type of knowledge. Because a lot of times, the reason why you're feeling overwhelmed and emotional is due to the fact that you have not learned a lesson you have not removed certain people places and things out of your life you have not um i'm sorry i keep looking over there because i have deliveries um come into the house hold on one second so that was confirmation and it's confirmation that this reading is for you if you have deliveries coming today um, if you have two packages coming today, an unexpected package, a package that you need to sign for. And for some of you, this message is the delivery. Okay. Um, where was I? Okay. So you guys have been going through emotional turmoil, um, at this time. So please become more self-aware of what's triggering, triggering you at this time. Right. Uh, I would also say to a lot of you guys, a lot of the things that are hurt, harming, and injuring you right now are unhealed wounds that you did not heal from when you were a child, when you were an adolescent, when you were a young adult, and depending on your age, it may only be from when you were a child or when you were a teenager or a young adult, whatever the case may be, right? Or adult, because you're a senior watching this, who knows? Um, for many of you guys, you may feel like th this is spiritual warfare it's not spiritual warfare it's you against you you being your worst enemy you needing to watch your thoughts you being mindful of how you are taking care of yourself this is you needing to take the courage to step up and speak your truth or doing what it is that you've told yourself that you were going to do time and time again for some of you guys, um, this is a time for you to step up, okay? Um, you've done enough work on yourself that you can go out and help others, right? Many of you too, there's a need for you to find a place of sanctuary, whether that's you taking a bath once a week, every day, whatever the case may be, whether that's you going to the park, sitting in nature, taking a walk, going on a hike, working out, meditating, okay, singing love songs to yourself, okay, you need to be filling up your cup right now. You shouldn't be filling up anybody else's cup right now. You should be filling up your cup right now, okay, because spirit has been calling you to come back to you, okay? Um, with that said, I feel like a lot of you may fear that people are, may, are going to perceive you as being defensive or um kind of standoffish don't worry about what other people think of you because what other people think of you is none of your business so again do what you need to do for you boo now with that said let's see what the 411 is for you guys for today okay 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 i don't know why i keep getting what is that lady's name? Vivian Green. I think that's her name. Vivian Green. Emotional roller coaster. Keeps the lyrics to that song keep popping up in my head. So maybe you guys, you know, one minute you're happy, the next minute you're sad. Listen, you gotta remember, you are heavily protected. You may be having an emotional roller coaster ride with yourself, and it could be due to finances. What you have to understand is your finances do not control you. You control your finances. You may need to learn how to budget. That's some knowledge that you need to obtain. 
need to learn how to manage your money better. Whatever the case may be, you should not allow finances to dictate how you feel inside. This is materialistic stuff. You should be happy with or without money. And I don't know why I just got a vision of like when they have those kids in those foreign third world countries and, you know, they're still smiling and 90% of them don't have running water. They get one meal a day. They don't get toys on Christmas or any other holiday, but they seem to find a way to have a smile on their face with very little. You need to make sure that you are not being emotionally controlled by money. Money is just a form of currency. You have to also look at your love being a form of currency, your time being a form of currency, your support being a form of currency, your healing abilities a form of currency. There's so many different forms of currency. This is just one of them, and this should not control you, okay? Um, because money comes and goes. You want to make more money? Go out there and make it. You don't want to make more money? Don't go out and make it. But the thing is, it should not control who you are and your mental well-being, okay? Because that's how you limit yourself and that's how you stop the abundance from coming to you, okay? Now, we have here music, entertainment, and stagnancy in the reverse. So for some of you guys, a way you can relieve yourself of worries of money, you may want to listen to music that talks about making money you know like 50 cent says i get money money i got you may need to listen to songs like that that talk about making money making boss moves to motivate you to get out of that stagnancy to get out of that rut to start attracting more to you because the thing is when you're on a low vibrational frequency when you're on a vibrational frequency of scarcity of lack guess what you're going to attract to you? You're going to attract that unexpected bill versus that un unexpected paycheck. You get what I'm saying? So you got to be mindful. You got to be mindful. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking of them, them TikToks with those people talking about being mindful. Yeah, you have to be mindful of your, um, of your thoughts and your frequency at this time, especially right now. Okay? Dag. You guys need to ground yourselves because all y'all cards is falling to the floor. Well, we have third party in the reverse. So for some of you guys, you may need to release dating multiple people or just dating, period. Some of you need to release cheating out of your system, okay? Just because you witness other people cheating in life don't mean that's what you're supposed to be doing. And the thing is, when you're a cheater, guess what? You're going to get cheated out of things as well out of opportunities you may cheat on your partner and guess what you may not get cheated on by your partner but guess what you might get cheated out of an opportunity that you deserved did you ever think about that and most people like myself once i find out that you're a cheater i don't trust you in business because if you would cheat on your spouse your partner the person that you so-called love the person that you sleep with in bed every night the person that you break bread with and you would cheat on them what makes me think that you wouldn't cheat on me? Make that make sense. So you may realize that you're being frowned upon for being a cheater. And for those that sit there and cheat, you know, in business, guess what? If I'm dating somebody and I see them being a schema and a scammer and, and a dirty business partner, you think I'm going to trust you to be my partner? No. Right? So for some of you, that's the case. Some For others of you, you may want to just take a break and deal with yourself at this time. Because what I've noticed is when you date multiple people, even though there's nothing wrong with dating multiple people, because dating should be exactly just that, going out on dates, not having sexual intercourse, right? Um, you are spreading yourself thin. You're giving your energy out to multiple people. And spirit's been calling you back to you, right? And this may have been a theme in the month of August for you, or this will be the rest of the theme for you for, in Leo season. For others of you, this is just you having the courage to do what you need to do for you. 